Hello everyone, Alex Savoy, Discovery of Wine. So I'm back from France. I was in France for two weeks. Um, multiple things going on over there. But uh, I did an episode on the uh, Domaine du Patriarche. Uh, no, Domaine du Paternel, sorry, in Provence, which you can see in the past episodes. And another one, Chateau Neuf du Pape, where um, I wasn't able to get interviews everywhere or anywhere whatsoever. But um, have a little bit of footage that could, could be interesting. If, uh, if you guys want to look at that. Um, but for tonight, we're going to keep on going with our um, summer wines from France. We have another white wine tonight. We're going to tag the rosés um, probably tomorrow or very soon anyways. And so our wine tonight is from Languedoc-Roussillon. What we have is Chateau Coupe Rose, Minervois 2010. So Minervois AOC in the Languedoc. That's very well known. Uh, makes good red wine. Um, Never had any of their whites though. This is 100% Roussan, which is a varietal that you'll find uh, in the Côte d'Irons and um, Languedoc. However, there are, there are a lot of white wine varietals in those regions. And so I cannot say that this is a typical white wine of the Languedoc because there are plenty of variations of it with all the different um, varietals used over there. So right away, it's not a very aromatic wine, but right away I'm really getting that uh, white flower uh, coming through, a uh, floral aspect that's very predominant. Also getting a little bit of honey uh, coming through on the nose. And it seems like this wine's going to have a little bit of a bitterness, which I find is often the case with those more southern, uh, southerly regions of France and of elsewhere in the world. Um, Italian white wines tend to do that. It's you know very much in the south, but um, in the southern France, that um, that is an aspect that comes through a lot for me. I'm gonna check out, taste it, see uh, I can validate what I just said about the note. So, very similar mouthfeel. Um, no, not mouthfeel, but aromas. That I can taste very floral um, not much bitterness though so I like that not much acidity either this wine is is a little bit fat um, you can feel the texture is a little bit um, uh, viscous um, this is a wine that doesn't offer a whole lot in the areas of aromas not much acidity either although it it's not lacking in acidity, but I like sharp acidity in my whites, and this does not offer me that. Um, and uh, yeah, but the round wine, if if you guys like that texture that you know coats your mouth and is you know a little bit heavier than uh, most of the white wines that I've tasted on this show, then you might like this. But definitely, um, the aromas are very very subdued. So if you're used to you know Chardonnays from uh, the New World, so from California, from Australia, stuff like that, or even other varietals that are very expressive in the aroma category, this is not going to be your cup of tea. Um, however, for somebody who likes Roussan or likes Languedoc White, um, this is pretty well made. It's just not a style that I think a lot of us, uh, a lot of you guys will like, and it's not definitely not something that I would recommend for $20. I think um, uh, this is not really... What I'm going for when I pay 20 bucks for a white uh, for a bottle of white wine. Anyways, hopefully tomorrow we get something a little bit better. And uh, in the meanwhile, I will say um, good night, and I'll see you soon.